Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Minecraft with yours truly, the Hermit Hood. Alright guys, last episode we were messing around with the bees, building myself a birthday cake, which I've gone ahead and destroyed. Um, <laughs> I wanted to do something for my birthday, so we built a cake, and that's going to lead to some bee farms that I want to do later on. I didn't get a chance to push this thing back because I ended up going some places and spending some time with some relatives. So yeah, that kind of happened. But I will get to that this week, guys. Um, I want to work on, you know, the building that we have yet to finish. I promise you guys we will be doing some bee stuff here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys say we hop towards this building over here and let's get started on what we need to do. Um, let's see here. I right, Cheerios, I right, We don't need either of these. What we need is a work pick. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is pretty much the exact same thing that I did over here, but we're going to need another villager for inside of here. So let's go ahead. Let's pull these stone brick up out of here. We're not going to need this um, again. Uh, just pull the bare bones, the leggings out of it. There we go. Make sure we don't interrupt that thing right there. Um, I don't think pulling this out will do anything. Okay, we should be safe pulling that out. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out. We can hear our other villager on the inside. I don't know why I'm not picking up those blocks. Latency? Lag? I don't know. Can we scoop them up now? Yeah, we got them now. Alright. So I want to do pretty much the same exact thing that I did before. And I don't know how many pumpkins I got into up inside of there, but we're going to see what we have here in a little bit. Let's just go right on ahead. Let's pull all this up out of here for right now. And let's go ahead and see what we do have up in here. All right, so this is what I got for pumpkins so far. I don't have a villager for trading with right now at the moment. I'm not too worried about that um i do got some stone bricks i'm going to go ahead and ram those inside the chest over here uh, hopefully we're doing okay as far as lag or anything is concerned i am going to need this stone cutter and we also need to go pick up a villager and set it with a bed so first things first is i need to set this thing down and we're, we're going to go ahead and go with the steep slate tiles once more to make this kind of match up with the other building a little bit. Uh, we're going to mix in some deep slate bricks this time. Let's go ahead with a couple of stacks of those. So we're going to have some deep slate bricks, some deep slate tiles. So we're going to go ahead with that. We're going to mix some concrete powder. And I'm going to go ahead and mix that in with it. However, we also need to grab ourselves a villager who's probably going to navigate his way over towards my bed. So what do you guys say we go and grab ourselves a villager up together and shove him in? Oops, I need this. We're going to need this and maybe some of this and a minecart for the villager. All right, let's snag up my bed so he doesn't grab towards it. And let's bring him all the way over towards here. And we'll worry about putting him inside here in just a little while. All right, first things first, guys. Is let's grab this now he's going to come right along and he's going to tag himself right onto this bl blacksmith table so let's grab ourselves a villager guys here we go we got one he's a plains villager not the not the most exciting but we can bring him along come on come on buddy you can get up there I know you can. Go. I'm not wasting my time with a uh, furnace, my cart with furnace for right now. Well, all I need him to do is come over here, and there he goes. So we can put, mess around with him and see if he'll swap out his trade for something else. And we can set him. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing out for right now, and we're going to go ahead and just 
Um, use a piece of cobblestone for the time being. There we go. And just kind of lock him in there. Um, he's perfectly safe. We're in peaceful mode because it's a mode that I love to play in. So he's okay over here for right now. We don't have to worry about moving him in. Um, we are going to have to lock his trade. I should probably do that right now. Um, do I get any emeralds on me? Yes, I do. All right. So let's lock his trade. Okay. I'm going to lock him in with a stone pickaxe. And we're just going to throw it, okay? There we go. So, he's locked in. We don't have to worry about him messing around with anything else. Let the pickaxe do its thing. And if we want to, we can drag him along and put him inside of here. We don't have to worry about him moving towards any of our beds or anything of that nature. I'm going to go ahead and ram this thing inside of here for right now. This and this. And let's get started building this house up, guys. I'm going to build up a frame around it and around the base here. And we're going to bring our villager over and we're going to put him inside. I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys. I got a little bit of a design going here for this building. It's a little bit different from that one over there where we did this uh, two little S's on it. As you guys can see, it actually has straight windows on it. I didn't want to maintain the same build aspect as per you know i didn't want it to look the same i want this one to look different so we got like it's the same palette but not the same we actually got the stone brick inside of this one which kind of makes it a little bit more pop out a little bit better um i also get to do something different for the back side of this where all the redstone is i'm going to staircase this one down here on the back and here on the front going up here along the sides i'm going to try to do something different on this one um maybe we're going to do something as similar like this i do want to make it look like it does this over here but i want that to kind of pop up over here on this side um at the same time on the back side of the building it's going to slope down sort of like it is a manufacturer's building however for right now guys i want to move my first villager inside of here and to do that we have a bed in here okay let's go ahead let's step in here and i need to set mine down here real quick so let's go ahead let's move the villagers bed in here um let's set that maybe about right here I want to build off a separate wall in here. So let's grab some deep slate bricks and tiles. And we're going to go ahead right off the center of this, like right in here. And just kind of bring this over, like kind of something like this. And, you know, build his office. You know, something that he has that he can kind of maneuver his way inside of. Again, I want to keep that aspect layer of where it looks like it's popped out. And we're just going to mix and match here in a little bit. So let's add some of this. Let's come out here on the exterior. Maybe pop this thing out. Add one of these things in here. And maybe and do something like this. And just bring it up to maybe about here here and give me this all right let's do some of this and we're just going to kind of bring this across um deep slate right here i'm going to go ahead and do these things on top of this um, another one right here and we're going to use this right here because it connects in a little bit better and let's just go ahead and do this do this to connect that up um, put that in there why not it is going to look a little bit awkward that's okay we're going to go ahead and do this make a little bit of an L shape shove it up that way bring it over here um, add some of this in here. Um, I'd like to put that right there. So let's go ahead and do this, this, and do this one right here, this one right here. Kind of make it pop out a little bit in here. This will be where his office will be at. So his bed will be out here. 
he'll have himself a nice little spacious spot for looking outside so let's go ahead and let's move this bed up out of the way here a little bit further um you know what workspace should be out here for him what did we say we put his bed in here right up against the wall right there it's kind of centered at the same time all right so i can scoop up my bed and now i gotta move my bed all the way out of the way because i need to spot my inventory for it i don't need him uh kind of piloting way towards it and let's grab his bed guys and we're gonna pump him over towards this so to do this i need to get this thing up out of here we need to do a rail behind him let's grab our minecart with furnace we're going to shove this thing right here we're not going to put any fuel in it just yet all right um 64 rails Can we run this thing the whole length of the way across? Almost. What am I doing? Run it straight through. Wrong block. All right, that should do right there. I don't have to move it too much. All right, let's head over here, guys. Let's give this thing a little bit of fuel. He's gonna move his way in there. We're gonna give him his table. All right, scooch along. We're gonna move inside of here. We're gonna put his table in there, and then we're gonna lock our villager inside of there. He's gonna try to attach himself to something. That was probably his bed. All right, let's go ahead. Let's put his table back here. See, so he has something to work with. Um, I want to also get some smooth, something a little bit smooth, and kind of do this with it. Let's get some stone in here. Maybe we do that with it to kind of make it look a little bit better. Make it look like it's a little bit of a workshop for him. And we're going to go ahead and place some lanterns. I want to put this one right here for him so he got a little bit of light. Um, inside of here, I will do something for a ceiling. I don't want to mess with that right now at this moment. Um, we're going to go ahead and pull this up out of here. And let's get our doors in here for him so he stays in place. We're going to use the spruce trap doors. So let's go ahead and do that. Do this. Do, there we go. We can close them. And let's see what that looks like from out here most valuable player okay i want no he's not going to be the most valuable player not just yet all right so let's go ahead and pull this up out of the way and turn that back into a minecart reference and let's scoop these things back up and let's go ahead f3 plus b all right don't hit the villager. Here we go. All right, he's bound to his station. He's bound to a bed. He can't leave here. He has plenty of he has plenty of space to work around. We can still come inside of here and access our pumpkins. And the reason I put a uh, okay. I didn't put the right table inside of here for you. Um, you should have been the stone cutter. Because, okay, well, we can do this from outside. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a stack of these, and let's head out here. I'll show you guys why. All right, we're going to leave this guy to himself. I'm going to put a pallet in here for the floor in just a bit. But i got to work on a roof here, too. All right, so I did something with my data pack, guys. Um, hello, good sir. You can't get out, but I can get in. Let me squirt myself inside of here. Let's head over here to this, and I'll show you guys why. 
I don't need 64 billion seeds anymore. Now I can put lighting inside of these places and I don't need this popping up from the ceiling. Um, I can make, I can do lights guys. I can do lights. Bam, just like that. Um, and I can hide it with gray carpeting or something. And I don't have to worry about these guys. You know what? They should be perfectly safe. His bed should be, he should be in bed. We should be able to see that. Let's go see if he's in bed. He should be in bed. Yeah. And he could use some light in there, by the way. We'll go ahead and do that with this. And I think I'm going to add another one in here too. So let's go through here while we're in here. And we're just going to add some lighting in the floor. And come back here behind all this. Add some lighting in the floor. And I'll add some gray carpeting on top of all that. And I could do a design for the floor. And that's going to be copper, stone, and andesite. And a little bit of tuff mixed in for the floor. Um, I'm not going to worry about that just yet, guys. I need to do the roof. Let me take a little bit of a nap. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got on the head. I got the roof on this place and believe it or not, it's actually centered this time compared to the other one. Um, it actually looks a little bit better. Um, I went on ahead. I did that slanted roof as I said I was going to do a little bit of a lag spike there. That's probably all the pistons firing off. So let's see here if I can get a good view of this for you guys somewhere along the line. Yeah, it comes off back here on this side. It slants just a wee little bit. I didn't add any blocks on it underneath it. Not yet for it to do that. I didn't think about that when I put them in, but it's, it's, it's going. It looks actually pretty good from the inside as well too. Let's bring you guys in there. Um, I still got to add the floor on the interior of this. But if we walk inside of here and we look, I got the wall going up on both sides, all except for right here. Um, we will go ahead and do something with this. Like I said, I want to put in a ceiling of some sort. I'm thinking we're going to use, um, I, I don't exactly want to use these stone slabs right here, but I think it would kind of fit the blacksmith's theme if we use those. Um, it would kind of it would kind of look nice in here if we just did that. Put them on top of this, brought them the whole way over. I'm sure the bottom of the hoppers might poke through, but that's okay. Um, I also went on ahead and grabbed myself some gray wool, and we can go ahead and put that on top of all of these things right here, like so. Um, not whoops, not right there. There we go. So we can go ahead and shove that on top of these. I got just enough. I got just enough. And as far as the floor goes, guys, I got stone, I got some copper ore, I got some andesite, and I got some tuff. Um, I also got a little bit of cobblestone with me. So let's see if we can mix and match some of this together. If I add a little bit of this in here, don't go heavy with it. Maybe we mix in some of this underneath here. Um, not stone. Let's add in a little bit of andesite. You know what? Let's not use the stone because we kind of use that for the other thing up there. And let's use this palette instead. We're going to use the cobblestone, you know, kind of really mess it up. Make it look really good as best as we possibly can for in here. All right, so let's just go in ahead. Let's just mix and match these. And see how far we can get along with this. Sure, we do got to get underneath the chest. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add some, in whoops, not right there. Add us a little bit of andesite underneath there. Uh, can we reach back there? Yes, we can. Aha. And maybe we want to add a little bit of copper ore in here too in places. Let's see. We add a little bit of this in here. Some of this here. 
just mix and match it all over the place. It is a blacksmith, so we do want to add some ores in here. Make it look like it, you know, he's actually living in here. He does work. He does work in here, so we want to add mix and match the pallet. I'm going to do like a three right here. Uh, put a little bit in here. Um, we'll add some cobblestone up underneath this one. And maybe bring it to about here and here. And then we can mix in a little bit of andesite. Let's see here. Let's see if we can do this. See if we can make this place look really good. You know, do this together. And not everything has to be done in triangles. So we can kind of mix this, put that right in here, anywhere where it looks good. And you guys can see how the floor palette is coming together in here. That's why I was thinking we could add, where did my villager just go? Oh, he's in bed. Okay, so let's leave him be. And I'm gonna go ahead, I should pause for a little bit since we're into 21 minutes. Let me do some of this floor palette, guys, and I'll be back. All right, guys, here it is in all its glory. I don't know if I'm going to get an achievement for this yet or if I already got it. Bingo. Bango. All right, I did not get the achievement. All right, so here it is. Toolsmith, you walk up to the place, you can read it. Um, I can't put this little thing so you can actually see what the place is as you walk up to it. I think I'm going to put another one of those things right over here. Or I could just move this entire lamppost over here on this side. It probably, probably would look a little bit better over there. But we can walk up into here, guys. We can play with our toolsmith. Um, our pumpkins will be inside of here at the same time. But if we want to, we can come inside of here. We should be able to trade with the guy. And I don't. I do have some emeralds, mister. But you know what? Um, I'm so... You know what, here, just for the sake of the video. Now leave me alone. All right, so I got this in here. I put the uh, roof in here. It actually turned out pretty nice. The floor is in here. It looks pretty good. I put it the whole way around. Um, it's all lit up in here. No mobs can spawn in here if we were to swap over to uh, another mode which means this thing right here, we could probably knock that out now because we don't need it. Um, and nothing should be able to spawn in here anymore. Um, apart from our villager that's inside of here, once we get him to diamond tools, we'll see what he has for us. And that'll be free diamond tools for us that we can automatically um, disenchant and use those for enchanting. That'll be good for us. And those pumpkins, unfortunately, I, I'll have to drag those things over here to uh, use on this dude over here. Who is he? Our Mason. Yeah, our Mason. And this guy, I've been buying some bricks off of him and doing some work and also going around digging up clay. Um, I haven't been selling him all my clay, but I can sell him stone and regular clay I'm, I'm really really not selling him stone um not right now at the moment so i might swap these doors out for the uh other ones but i need a place i can put signs on here and i think i'm gonna flip these windows around and make it look a little bit better than what it is but this one over here guys i kind of like the way this one turned out the roof is actually a little bit better um I like the way this turned out. I like it. I like it a lot. And I'm thinking maybe we swap that sign and put it over here. And this one over here, maybe get rid of one of the windows and put the sign maybe down here on this side. Or we could just put it right there. Move that one down and put a window here and put that one right there. Actually might be a good idea. 
fix the windows so it don't look so derpy. Um, yeah, try to keep it modern, but at the same time with a different style build for the roofs. Um, when it comes to the honey houses, we'll do something different. Mm -hmm. I don't want to maintain this entire build. It, I'm going out of my comfort zone of building differently. Mm -hmm. But guys, here we are. We got the mace, the toolsmith, and I think it looks pretty cool. Let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think. Um, I, 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 I like the way it looks. Hello, good sir. Would you like to trade? I'm sorry. We're done for today. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Catch you later. Bye-bye for now.